Hi, welcome to a sample OET speaking video. The setting here is a home visit, but the description in the role play card says, you've just completed the assessment of the patient and you're having this conversation with the spouse of the patient. Very often students find it confusing as to how to begin the conversation if it's in between an assessment and at the same time, the setting is a home visit. In this role play card, I'll take up the role of the nurse and with me will be Drishya taking up the role of the interlocutor. We have done two samples on the same role play card. The first sample is when the interlocutor is highly cooperative and follows all the tasks in the order. That will show you how you can manage the conversation if you have a very, very cooperative interlocutor. The second role play card is when the interlocutor is not very cooperative in terms of following the order in which the tasks are given. There might be certain instances when the interlocutor does not describe much, gives short responses and stops. So as a nurse, how do you ensure that you continue your conversation for the entire five minutes? That's exactly what I'm going to show you in the second sample. So let's get straight to the video and find out what the two different ways are to manage the role play. This is the recording for the Occupational English Test and the test is held at Metcity International Academy, Kannur on 2nd of April 2022. The candidate name is Sangeeta. The candidate number is 57468. The interlocutor is Drishya. The interlocutor number is 054321. The role play number one, profession, nursing. So, good morning. Good morning. Can I have your identification, please? Sure. Okay, so, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, thank you. thank you. So, this is the test of your English language, not your professional knowledge, so you can be natural, okay? So, let's start with a warm up session. Okay. Okay, could you introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Sangeeta mm -hmm. and I'm a nurse. I've been working for the last 10 years. Okay, so why did you choose the profession? Uh, well, to be honest, I didn't have a real plan of choosing up, uh, I mean, I didn't have a real plan of taking up nursing. Mm -hmm. uh, but eventually I did end up taking this course. I'm really happy that I did. Okay. But it was not that I was, you know, very passionate about it in the beginning, mm -hmm. but now I am. Okay, good. Okay. So what about, do you have any sort of role model? Um, yes, I do. Role model in the sense, it's not a particular person. Mm -hmm. Like I like to see something good in everyone. So when I notice something, a feature that is really interesting or that I feel I should also imbibe, mm -hmm. I make that person my new role model. Okay. So I don't have anyone in particular. Go on. Okay. So this is the end of the warm-up session. Mm -hmm. So this is your card. Okay. And uh, mm -hmm. you have uh, three minutes to prepare for your role play. So your preparation time starts now. All right. Okay, so your time's up. This is the end of your preparation time and uh, you now have five minutes for your role play. Okay, so your role play starts now. All right, so Lisa, uh -huh. uh, I've just um, had a look at your husband, George's health mm -hmm. and um, from my last visit, it looks like he has had some improvement. But yeah. uh, I'm afraid that you know the rate at which we expect him to improve hasn't been happening. Mm -hmm. So there are a few questions I need to ask. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. All right. 
Um, I'm really uh, curious to find out like what you've been doing to manage your husband because the last time I visited I remember you saying that you were not working and then you know you're taking care of your husband yeah uh, but I guess you've joined for work now so yeah. how do you manage say I've recently <coughs> started working as an engineer in this firm and um, it's really difficult you know an engineer it's a kind of stressful and full-time job and uh, I've started to balance you know Mm -hmm. trying to balance both my professional and my personal life mm -hmm. and uh, yeah I have put a fridge and a microwave oven in the bedroom okay. and I leave out meals every day when I set off my for my work mm -hmm. I think it's quite enough but yet I'm still worried it's not enough you see uh, yes, Lisa, I really appreciate all that you're doing for your husband and mm -hmm. I understand like you did discuss with me that work is important. Yeah. Maybe that's one reason why you've chosen to go back to work. Yeah, it is. Uh, but I hope you understand that, you know, what you've been doing for George is not sufficient because he needs, um, let's say, more of intensive care, mm -hmm. which means what I'm trying to say is you might have to you know, think about leaving your job and being a full-time carer with Mr. George. Yeah, I know. I knew that I would have to, uh, you know, eventually give up my job mm -hmm. and uh, I'll have to be with him throughout his misery and, yes. you know, around the clock be his support system. Yes, but that's right. this was so sudden, you know, mm -hmm. this was so soon. I do not expect it to uh, happen so soon. Yes, I, I definitely understand what you're going through. Mm -hmm. uh, but see, Mr. George, like I said, he's not been progressing at that rate that we expect, mm -hmm. which means he will uh, need closer monitoring. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult for him to walk on his own. Mm -hmm. So even if you've kept a microwave or a fridge in the room, it's still going to be difficult for him to help himself and go around and take things that he needs. Yeah. Um, so, would it be possible for you to, you know, consider leaving your job and being a full-time carer? Okay, there's no way I can give up my job and, okay. uh, you know, be a full-time carer because mm -hmm. this is how I earn my living okay. and money is important. We are literally broke, yes. so I don't think that's a correct solution. Yeah, true. Money is important, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to, you know, his expenses of uh, medical and other needs. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, if uh, giving up your work is not an option that you can consider, mm -hmm. I have another suggestion. Yeah. Um, could you consider, you know, sending Mr. George to a nursing home, probably? Okay, so the idea about the nursing home is uh, Yeah, let me appealing. explain it to you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So a nursing home is a place where, you know, you can probably admit a George. Mm -hmm. That means he'll be there in that particular place. So he'll have people around him, especially okay. nurses and they are professionals. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. they know how to deal with him, what sort of attention to be given, how okay. to monitor him. Mm -hmm. So he's in safe hands when mm -hmm. he's in a nursing home. You can be relaxed at work at the same time because yeah. you know he's being, you know, well taken care of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's how a nursing home would work. Do you think that would be good yeah it is but I don't think my husband would feel the same mm -hmm. he might not agree to this particular concept yeah true would you try talking to him about it yeah I would yeah if he can yeah for sure okay so what I can uh, you know probably help you with this uh, once I before I leave I'll have a word with uh, George again so okay. that you know probably I can also talk to him about the nursing home mm -hmm. and its benefits okay and to help you out with making a decision once you have a word with your husband mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, maybe I will also give you a list of nursing homes Okay, that'd okay. be great. Yeah. yeah. So maybe you can talk to George. Maybe you can take him around to these nursing homes. Both of you could visit, and you can, you know, find out if that would be suitable one for you. Okay. So okay. how will we choose the best one? It's really difficult. That's a know. good question. So I'll help you out there because I know which are the ones that are really good here. Mm -hmm. um, again, depending on what facilities they provide, and mm -hmm. you know what is required for your husband. So we'll mm -hmm. make a list. Um, we have around twenty nursing homes here, okay. but the ones that would definitely suit your need would be around mm -hmm. 10 of them mm -hmm. so I'll make a list of uh, those nursing homes and okay. I'll also give you the address to those mm -hmm. homes yeah sure yeah would that be fine that'd be fine yeah yeah so then you can probably go and visit those homes personally and find out you know how which would be the best that yeah, suits yeah, your husband sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So I guess I'll discuss with my husband and yes, let you know later. Yeah, sure. I will be looking forward to Okay, so that's the end of the role play, Sankita. So thank you. Thank you. Well, we are done with the first sample where you saw that the interlocutor was really cooperative and following the tasks. Now let's see a small change in the same role play card. Here, my interlocutor is not very descriptive 
when it comes to explaining his or her condition. So as a nurse, I end up with instances where I feel there might be a lot of pauses in the conversation, but I know I am being tested, I am being evaluated and it is upon me to continue the conversation. So what are the tactics I use to ensure that I have a fruitful, effective conversation for the entire 5 minutes? Let's find out. This is the end of your preparation time, so you now have 5 minutes of your role play and your role play starts now. <clears throat> Alright, um, so Lisa, I've uh, just uh, examined your husband mm -hmm. and um, I've been here a couple of weeks back and okay. to be honest, he's not made a lot of improvement from my last visit. Yeah. You know, we were expecting him to progress at a certain rate, which really did not happen. Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, quite curious to find out, you know, certain things like how you've been managing him. So do you mind if I ask you a few questions yeah, now? Sure, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think the last time um, I visited, you were telling me that you were not working and you were looking after your husband, but yeah. I understand now you go for work. Mm -hmm. So I want to know how... For the entire video, download MedCity OET app, available on Play Store, an app store.